Hi there. Apocalypse, is it? So good to see you. I'm here to stop you. Oh, I know you were expecting Superman. See, the problem is you kind of took him out earlier. So that means you get me. Oh, <laughs> pleasure to meet you, Ronald McDonald. Ah, ah, ah! You can try those beams on me if you want, Apocalypse. But I think you'll find they're not very effective. See? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not know? I'm not real. Well, sort of. See, the thing is, when people in this world believe in something enough, they come to life. Now, I don't have anything on the big bad. I don't have anything on Santa Claus, but he's resting right now, recovering, getting ready for next year, and I don't want to interrupt that or any little boy or girl not get their presence because he has to get up and kick your ass. So I've come. I've come to stop you. Oh, I see. You think that because I'm not real, that even though you can't hurt me, I can't hurt you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you're mistaken, Mr. Apocalypse. You will get back in that boom tube. And you will leave Earth alone, or you will have to deal with me. Ah, uh, you think that I have no power, but see, there's a problem. My company has spent the last 50 years teaching each and every little child to want a Happy Meal, to want ice cream, when it works, from McDonald's. And that has caused desire. That has caused belief. And that has brought me to life. And that power can be used against you. <laughs> I see you don't believe me. You're not just going to go, are you? Well, why don't you sick your little parademons on me and see what happens? Oh, God of death and destruction. Well, here they come. They're definitely going to take me out. Oh, look at that. Their blood has turned into shake. Legally, I can't call it a milkshake, but it still works. Oh, gosh. Do you know, that is playing havoc with their circulatory system. That's right. One of the things that I can do is I can create McDonald's wherever I want. I can turn your parademons into double cheeseburgers. Those giant machines of war, oop, looks like their ammunition has been replaced with six-piece chicken nuggets. Much more delicious, but much less destructive. Oh, so you think that you can simply overwhelm me? Oh, I'm sorry, you don't understand. Over one billion human beings have come to my restaurants and been served sodas and burgers and shakes. Children celebrate their day of birth at my establishments. 
They love me. And that means that I can use that love to shape reality. What do you think, Apocalypse? What do you think about coming to work for me? This is your last chance. This is your last chance to leave. Leave or be destroyed. Very well. There's those beams again. Sorry, I already have red stripes. I don't need your beams. You see, as soon as they come close to me, I just turn them into chicken nugget dipping sauce. Mmm, so sticky, but not deadly. You had your chance, Apocalypse. Now you face my full power. I put upon your head a paper hat. My employees don't really wear them anymore, but people think that they wear them. And that's all that matters. Now that that hat is on your head, you work for me. Oh, you don't believe me. You think that this is all a ruse. But I want you to think about something Apocalypse. When does your shift start? That's right. 4 p.m. on the dot. And mmm, it's already 3.45. You better hurry, Apocalypse, or you'll be late. Oh, sorry. You might have a little trouble getting into your orientation so large. So why don't we just shrink you down a little bit. Maybe a 17-year-old teenager in high school. A few pimples on the face. You know... Apocalypse isn't really a good name for an employee. Let's think of something more positive. What about... Polly. A Polly. Everyone calls you that. Polly, you are one of my favorite new employees. And today is your first day working at McDonald's. So I want you to get to work, and I want you to start learning the McDonald's method of how to make delicious, quick-to-serve hamburgers and best flurries in the entire world. Ooh, I can see you resisting. Those little eyes are glowing red. You could try and destroy me, or... I could remind you, if you finish your orientation, you get a free hamburger. That's right, Polly. Now get to work. I've spent enough time messing with you. I'm always happy to work with my new employees, but this is getting ridiculous, Polly. You need to go to your shift and get to work or I may have to fire you. You don't want that, do you? No, you've got so many pressures to deal with in high school. You were in high school. You go to high school and you're 17 years old. You're not millions of years old and have the powers of a god. You're just teenage Polly. Everybody loves you, Polly. Now get to work, and you'll have that nice, warm hamburger waiting for you. Great job. Move along. 
Hey, Superman, good to see you. So glad you finally returned from the Phantom Zone. That was no fun being sent there. Um, someone. I can't seem to remember who. Some guy. Anyway, Superman, you should stop by my new restaurant down the street. We have some new employees starting, and you're going to, um, Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Love it. Thank you so much for watching Roleplay Riot. If you enjoy this, like and subscribe. Maybe I'll send a free hamburger just for you.